Dear my valued students, your teacher Anjum is here. We are going to learn the control accounts. This is the part of IGCSE. So these are the contents which you are going to learn under this chapter. This is the objective of the topic. We will learn how to prepare the control account. We will learn the sources of preparing control accounts and nature and purpose of control account. So let's start with the nature and purpose of control accounts. Actually, control accounts help us to locate out the errors. Control accounts provide a summary of accounts. Control accounts are prepared to check the accuracy of entries. Normally, it is prepared by a different person. So sources of preparing control accounts are actually your books of prime entry. You can see here the normal method of how we are preparing the trial balance. So we're starting from the original or business documents. Then we go for the seven books of prime entry. Then the data will go to the, the ledger accounts. And from the ledger accounts, we, get, we are preparing the trial balance. But when we are preparing the control accounts, actually, we get the information directly from the seven books of prime entry. So what are the advantages of preparing control accounts? Control accounts are assisting in locating errors where trial balance fails to agree. Trial, uh, the control accounts also giving you the proof of arithmetical accuracy of ledger accounts and is also regarded as equal to the total of debtors and total of creditors. So this information can be prepared immediately. It helps to prepare to, to get the draft for financial statements and it helps to reduce the fraud. So this is the activity for you. Sales ledger control account is also known as total trade receivable account or total debtors account. So what are the sources for preparing the sales ledger control account? So all these are the sources. So that's the sales ledger control account actually. Over there you find there are two balances. The sales always will get, we record in the sales account on the credit side. So here we are going to record on the debit side. Cash or bank is actually showing here the refund we give to our customer. And the bank is where the dishonor check. Interest received is that we are going to charge the interest to our customers who pay the money later on or, or after the due date. Then the bad is recovered, returns outward, uh, returns inward, like your, your, your customers are returning the goods to you. So you are going to record the total of sales return journal here. Then the cash or bank, how much you have collected the money from your customers. Then the contra entry and discount allowed bad debts so discount allowed cash or bank we get the information from the cash book returns inward we get the information from the sales journal the sales information we get from the sales journal so the balances we get from the uh, sales ledger account now this is the normal pattern of your sales ledger control account Next topic is purchases ledger control account is also known as total creditors account. So these are the sources to prepare the purchases ledger control account. Now this is the template how we're going to prepare this purchases ledger control account. And finally we go for the purchases ledger. Normal balance for preparing purchases ledger control account is on the credit side. Why? Because we have to pay money to our uh, creditors. Then the total of purchases day book here on the credit side and on the debit side, whatever we pay the money to our supplier. Then the discount receive we pay money before due date and purchases return. And then after that, the contra entry. Contra entry we discuss later on. Control account balances will be having the two balances. The reasons can be casting error, posting error, or bad debts or contra entry why we are having the two balances into the control accounts normal balance for the sales ledger control account is the debit but it can also be on the credit side when we have to pay money to our customers same thing that we have the normal balance for purchases ledger control account as a credit but sometimes we have to collect the money from our creditors 
The reason is that maybe we paid money more or the reason is that invoices are charged for the settlement of the accounts. So just now I was telling you the contra entry. Contra entry is something like that your customer become as your supplier or supplier become as your customer. So these entries we're saying as contra or set of item. So how are we going to record the entry? In the purchases ledger control account, the contra entry we record on the debit side. But on the sales ledger control account, we record the same entry on the credit side. So here is an activity for you for solving, for getting the self-study experience. So all these balances are given here. Based on this, you have to prepare the, the sales at your control account and purchases at your control account. So don't worry, the answer is given here, but you need to practice, you need to do it yourself before going to get the answer. Thank you so much for watching this video.